Hello YouTube, this is Dave Alex from Blue Panther Productions and I got an installation over for you guys today. I got the Microsoft Office 2011 for Mac that was recently released. Um, There are two versions, there's the Home and Student Edition and the Business Edition. The Home and Student Edition retails for $150 for three licenses, while the Business Edition retails for two prices. One license costs $200 and two licenses cost $280. So that's a hefty price right there. Luckily, I was able to get my 2011 Student Edition through the purchase of the 2008 version um i got this through a special offer that they have that's still active and i'll put the info in the description below in case you're interested and to tell you the truth right now it's way cheaper and you get one license through purchasing the 2008 version through a real retailer like amazon which i got it for um and that's a pretty good deal right there so i'll put out the info in the description below in case you guys are interested in that in this video i'll be showing you guys the installation overview and the first look on each of the new programs um, a really simple look nothing too complex just a simplistic view and just show you how it looks when you open it up and that's basically it so yeah let's get started on this I kind of skipped the first part of the installation because I wasn't recording, but basically you just install it and it does take 1.16 gigabytes of your hard drive, which is not a lot really, but still that's how much it takes, that's how much space you need. After you install it into your hard drive, you're going to be greeted by the screen and basically all you have to do is just enter your product key in from one of the licenses that you have. And that's basically it. Once you enter it, it's going to ask you if you want to save your settings or customize them. And basically you just, I just put save, makes it easier for me and you're just going to be answering these simple questions nothing too complicated just so if you want to update everything after you click continue for some reason i had to update my 2008 version which i could say really really took a long time for whatsoever reason but after you're done with that you're going to be greeted by this other screen it's going to basically tell you some info of the word for mac 2011 version this is basically going to tell you some details of the new word um once you click explore word it's going to take you to a website where it shows you more in-depth details of what you do with word also is going to show you some more in-depth details of powerpoint excel and the new outlook that replaces entourage this website will also show you the details of the new two versions of the 2011 for mac um it'll show you that what it has and what it hasn't and the big 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 difference is just outlook for the business edition which they're trying to make you buy now if you want outlook which i think is kind of bs really because you really do not need to spend about 50 dollars more for outlook which should just come in the home and student edition like entourage did all right, we're going to go into the first program, which is Word 2011. Once you open this up, you're going to be greeted by the screen again. And once you close that, you're going to be greeted by this new kind of feature, which you could choose which kind of document you want from a blank document to a calendar. And once you open a blank document, you're going to be seeing that it's completely different from the 2008 version. It's more complex and all the formatting, all those buttons are actually at the top now. And the toolbar, when you open that up, usually it has the formatting and all the board. It has none of that now, which I personally kind of like because it made it different from the PC version. But I'm guessing Microsoft wanted to make it more like the PC version. So I guess that's why they reintroduced it like this. But I don't know. Personally, me, I like the 2008 version, how it looked better. But I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about that. But yeah. Now when we open up PowerPoint, you're going to be also greeted by the familiar screen. But this time with PowerPoint features once you close that you're going to be showing all the themes that powerpoint has and once you click on the theme you're going to be going into the powerpoint itself and you're going to be also see that all the features and all the formatting is on the top again of the powerpoint screen and instead of the toolbars having all the effects and everything they made that simpler and they made the whole powerpoint screen more complex so you could write click it right above which again is more like the pc version now we open up Excel and again you can be seeing this familiar screen with Excel features but once you close that you're going to be shown different types of documents you can open up with Excel from spreadsheets to to-do lists which is pretty cool and also um once you open that the spreadsheet up you're going to be showing the same type of interface as the two before um, again with all the formatting all the different charts everything the functions on the top and the toolbars um, they made that simpler um, like I said before they're trying to make this more like the PC version so there you have it that was the first three programs that come with the home student edition of Word Microsoft Office 2011 for Mac um, this includes Word PowerPoint and Excel I couldn't show you Outlook because again that's in the business edition um, but I want to ask a question do you think this is worth the upgrade do you think it's worth buying is it really that much of an upgrade at all um tell me your opinions in the comments below and i'm really interested in hearing what you guys think um thanks again for watching um i'll make more videos on the way um please subscribe please thumbs up it really helps me out um and thanks again for watching all right guys it always is a pleasure to make videos for you guys i enjoy it a lot um and thanks again for stopping by all right see ya